Hi, I'm Parto. This is a critical study of variational autoencoder as generative models, their comparison and their relationships to classic deterministic autoencoders. This lead to Ray, a novel generative model. Let's start by um, revisiting VAEs. A VAE consists of two stochastic parts, an encoder E and a decoder D. E maps data points X's into a probability distribution QZ given X, also called the posterior. The decoder D turns a latent code Z into a probability distribution P X given Z. VAEs are trained by maximizing the elbow, which comprises of two terms, the reconstruction loss and the KL divergence. Um, the KL divergence is between a posterior and a fixed prior. This prior is generally uh, assumed to be a Gaussian PZ shown in orange in here. Training VAEs um, is challenging. We focus here on two issues regarding sample quality. We should draw many samples from the posterior to approximate this um, expectation shown in green in here. However, in practice, a one sample approximation is carried out for efficiency but this leads to slow learning and worse performance. After training, to generate a sample, we draw a latent code from the prior, and then um, we draw a new sample from the decoder. This assumes that the prior exactly matches the aggregated posterior, like so. However, this hardly happens in practice. As noted in many prior works, um, this leads to worse, worse sample quality. Because the decoder is not trained on some um, regions of the prior, um, this um, effect is exacerbated in these regions. We introduce arrays to fix this issue. Let's go back to VAEs for a moment. First, um, make both the encoders and decoders deterministic. Um, that is, the map into inputs the map inputs into points and not distributions. We simplify the reconstruction term and Monte Carlo estimation is no longer necessary. Second, we get rid of the KL term. We simply regularize um, the norm of the Zs. Note that individual latent codes can move freely inside the latent space. This leads to more meaningful latent codes and better reconstructions. We regularize the decoder, it smoothens the latent space and helps in interpolation. But since arrays do not have um, prior, how are you going to sample from them? Um, the solution is to fit a density estimator to the latent codes obtained from the training data. A simple Gaussian mixture model or even normalizing flow models can be used. We call this ex post density estimation or XPDE. To sample RAE, we first sample the XPDE and then we decode it. XPDE can also be practical solution to solve the prior and aggregate posterior mismatch in VAEs. Finally, we investigate different decoder regularizations. Following GAN literature, we find gradient penalty, spectral normalization, etc. However, the simple weight decay um, enforced on the decoder perform well in practice. Um, as can be seen here, L2 RAE and the VAE are equally smooth in the latent space, as is the case without any explicit regularization, and AE can also perform smooth interpolation. We validate RAEs on several data set by comparing, comparing it with state-of-the-art VAE flavors. We found that XPDE alone improves sample quality for all models tested. In conclusion, we encourage you to reify your VAEs. To do that, make the encoder and decoder deterministic and drop the latent prior. Finally, substitute KL divergence term with a norm over the Zs and regularize the decoder and you're done. We turn grammar VAEs to grammar RAE which generates better models proving that RAs also work on different discrete data domains. Thank you.